their blood. Now, some are saying there's a new bloodthirsty creature on the prowl. Tonight, News Channel 9's Raymond Mesa takes a look at the newest character to make its way into Latin American folklore. According to legend, he hides under the cover of night and preys on small animals like dogs, cats, and his favorite target, goats, sucking them dry of their blood. Hence, its name, Chupacabras, or goat sucker. According to information we retrieved through the internet, the Chupacabras is a Puerto Rican mythical creature blamed for dozens of attacks on livestock. Sightings of the creature and reports of animal attacks have come in from all over Latin America and from across the border in Juarez, Mexico as well. Kids in a colonia told us of rumors of flying saucers, strange looking creatures and dead animals found in the desert. One drawing by a little girl shows a figure with an animal in his mouth. The eight-year-old girl even wrote the word chupacabras. The creature even has some similarity to the chupacabras images found on the internet. Just last week, residents in far northeast El Paso had an incredible story of their own. I called him and he wouldn't get up, so I got closer and I, I looked at him. He was all covered with the saliva and then, I, you know, and then I found the cat. Both have a puncture wound on the side and they were all covered with us, like slobber, you know, but nothing else. One of the latest reports on El Chupacabras, or goat sucker, comes out of a place called Hanos Chihuahua, just south of Juarez. Front page news, Diario de Juarez. Inexplicable death of eight goats, complete with two very gory pictures. Now, at first glance, you might think this is the work of some bloodthirsty creature that stalks the night, but according to one local veterinarian, that is simply not the case. These could very well be dog bites, or this could very well be a gunshot, for that matter. I mean, one small hole in the neck, um, a small caliber weapon could certainly cause that type of a trauma and, and certainly kill them very dead without causing a lot of hemorrhage. Dr. Chenault also explained what probably killed the puppy and the cat in northeast El Paso. These look like dog bite victims is what they look like. Uh, I've seen a lot of dogs come in that are chewed up that look just like them. There is no real evidence to substantiate the existence of the goat sucker. So at least for now, the bizarre looking creature will continue to live only in the minds of children who listen in wide-eyed amazement when they hear the tale of El Chupacabras. Raymond Mesa, News Channel 9, tonight. One psychiatrist report on the internet says the Chupacabra phenomenon is a case of mass hysteria brought on in part by the media. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Kind of like the Sasquatch and all the rest of those guys. Huh? That thing's scary for a little kid. <laughs>